I'm Luisa Mestroni from the University of Colorado, uh, where I'm professor of medicine and cardiology and director of the molecular genetics program at the Cardiovascular Institute. Um, I'm here at the uh, International Academy of Cardiology 18th World Congress of Heart Disease uh, in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, and uh, I just made my presentation. I had the pleasure to talk today about personalized medicine in uh, uh, dilated cardiomyopathy. Um, it was uh, a, a very interesting to discuss about this topic because many uh, major advances have been made in the last couple of years, uh, both in terms of understanding uh, the impact of genetics in uh, dilated cardiomyopathy and heart failure, and also because of uh, the novel, uh, very powerful technologies uh, we have now available, both in the research but also in the clinical practice. So what I discuss is actually what we know more uh, in terms of gene causing the disease, uh, and then uh, what the novel technique like uh, next generation sequencing uh, to, can take uh, both to the bench and to the bedside. Um, I concluded my presentation by reminding a number of uh, important points uh, that uh, should guide both research and clinical practice in uh, personalized medicine, particularly in uh, the treatment and management of dilated cardiomyopathy. Uh, so how uh, the new knowledge can affect, for instance, the management of patients, the application of uh, defibrillator much earlier than we do with other patients with heart failure, the fact that uh, uh, knowing the genetic uh, uh, condition of a family member can uh, either uh, eliminate the, the need of uh, a constant uh, uh, checkup or can uh, allow the uh, uh, um, starting uh, a preventive therapy or changing the habit in terms of sport activity uh, and so on. We also discussed the fact that uh, novel knowledges uh, are encouraging in terms of starting therapies for this patient, something that has been not even uh, hoped until a couple of years ago, and uh, how patients are actually asking now in the clinical setting uh, questions, questions that we must be prepared to answer. And finally, how to have a good team of genetic counselor and uh, a team of experts in the field can be really helpful because sometimes it's very hard in the clinical practice when you have to face also uh, the, uh, the severe disease of this patient, uh, what could be the uh, complex impact of uh, the genetic background and how to manage that. 